So for requirement one, it says compute the budgeted fixed manufacturing overhead rate per barrel for each of the denominator level capacity concepts. Explain why they are different. So we're going to first try to look for our theoretical capacity. So our budgeted fixed manufacturing overhead per period is given to us on, on a data table. And that is 28,200,000. So now we want to find our budgeted denominator level. So in order to find our budgeted denominator level, we're going to go ahead and multiply our days of production per period from our hours of production per period and our barrels per hour. So these three right here gives us our budgeted denominator level. So the days of production prepared is 362 multiplied by hours of production per day, 22, and multiplied by barrels per hour, which is 535. That's going to give us 4,260,740. So 28,200,000 divided by 4,260,740, that gives us six dollars and sixty two cents per barrel so now we want to look for our practical capacity so our budgeted fixed manufacturing overhead per period is going to be the same for theoretical capacity and that is twenty eight million two hundred thousand and just like what we did for the theoretical capacity for our budgeted denominator level, we're going to go ahead and multiply our days of production per period from our hours of production per period and our barrels per hour. Per hour. So 352 multiplied by 20 multiplied by 505, that's going to give us 3,555,200. So 28,200,000 divided by 3,555,200, that's going to give us $7.93 for our budgeted fixed manufacturing overhead rate per barrel. And we're going to do the same for our normal capacity utilization. So our budgeted fixed manufacturing overhead per period is 28,200,000. And then we're going to divide our budgeted denominator level. So 352 multiplied by 20 and multiplied by 410. That's going to give us 2,886,400. And we're going to go ahead and divide our budgeted fixed manufacturing overhead per period from our budgeted denominator level. And that's going to give us nine dollars and 77 cents for our budgeted fixed man, uh, manufacturing overhead rate per barrel so now we want to do now we want to find our master budget capacity for each half year so for, for a january to june 2014 our budgeted fixed manufacturing overhead per period is given to us and that is 14 million and 100,000 and just like what we did for theoretical practical and normal capacity we're going to go ahead and multiply our days of production per period and our hours production per day and our barrels per hour in order to find our budgeted denominator level 
So 176 multiplied by 20 multiplied by 325, that's going to give us 1,144,000. So 14,100,000 divided by 1,144,000, that's going to give us $12.33 for our budgeted fixed manufacturing overhead rate per barrel. So now we want to find July from uh, July to December of 2014. And we're going to go ahead and do the same thing like we did for January to June. So our budgeted fixed manufacturing overhead per period is given to us, which is $14,100,000. And like we did from January to June, we're going to go ahead and multiply these three together. And that's going to give us 1,742,400. So our budgeted fixed manufacturing overhead per period, which is 14,100,000, divided by our budget denominator level, which is 1,742,400. That is going to give us $8.09 for our budgeted fixed manufacturing overhead rate per barrel. So explain why they are different. The blank concept emphasizes supply factors while the blank concept emphasizes demand factors. The six month rates for the master budget utilization concept. So we know that the theoretical capacity concept emphasizes supply factors while the normal capacity utilization concept emphasizes demand factors. The six month rates for the master budget utilization concept are different because of seasonal differences in budgeted production. So now we're gonna work on requirement two. So it says compute the Philadelphia breweries operating income when the denominator level capacity is A, theoretical capacity, B, practical capacity, and C, normal capacity utilization. So in order to find the theoretical capacity for our budgeted fixed manufacturing overhead rate per barrel, if you remember, we did that earlier in requirement one. So our theoretical capacity is going to be $6.62 and our practical capacity is going to be $7.93 and our normal capacity utilization is going to be $9.77. Now we want to find our budgeted variable manufacturing cost rate. So in order to find our budgeted variable manufacturing cost rate, the equation for that is going to be our actual variable manufacturing cost divided by our production in barrels. So for theoretical capacity, our actual variable manufacturing cost, that is gonna be 78,910,000. divided by our production in barrels, which is going to be 2,600,000. And that's going to give us 30.35. So for theoretical capacity, 30.35 is going to be our budgeted manufacturing cost weight. And 
that's going to be the same for our practical capacity and normal capacity utilization. So now we want to find our budgeted total manufacturing cost rate. So in order to find our budgeted total manufacturing cost rate, we're just going to go ahead and add our budgeted fixed manufacturing rate per barrel with our budgeted variable manufacturing cost rate. So 6.62 plus 30.35, that's going to give us 36.97. And we're going to go ahead and do the same for our practical capacity and normal capacity. So for practical 7.93, Plus 30.35, that's going to give us 38.25, 38.28, I'm sorry. And then now we're going to go ahead and do the same for normal capacity. So $9.77 plus $30.35, that's going to give us $40.12. So in order to find our fixed manufacturing overhead co cost allocated, we're going to go ahead and multiply our budgeted total manufacturing cost rate from our production in barrels. So $36.97 times 2,600,000, 2, that's going to give us... 17212000 And we're going to go ahead and do the same for practical capacity. So $38.28 times our production barrels, which is 2600000 That's going to give us 20618000 For normal capacity, our budgeted total manufacturing cost rate, which is $40.12 times our production in barrels, which is 2600000 that's going to give us $25,402,000. So now it asks us, compute the operating income for each capacity concept one at a time. Label the variance as favorable or unfavorable. All right, so now we want to find our revenue for theoretical capacity. So in order to find our revenue, it's going to be our units sold times our selling price. So we know that our selling price is going to be $43, but we do not know what our units sold. So in order to find our units sold, it's going to be our beginning inventory plus our production in barrels minus our ending inventory. So zero plus two million six hundred thousand is gonna be two million six hundred thousand and then we're gonna subtract our ending inventory which is two hundred twenty thousand and that's gonna give us two million three hundred and eighty thousand. So that's going to be our units sold. So we're going to go ahead and multiply $43 because that's our selling price from our units sold, which is $2,380,000. And our revenue for theoretical capacity is going to be So for practical and normal capacity utilization, uh, our revenue is going to be the same for these two. Okay, so now we want to find our cost of goods sold. And it starts off with our beginning inventory. So we know that our beginning inventory is going to be zero for all three of these. So now we want to find our variable manufacturing costs. 
and our variable manufacturing cost is given to us and that's going to be 78,910,000 and that is also going to be the same for practical and normal capacity utilization Okay, so in order to find our fixed manufacturing overhead costs allocated, if we remember in requirement number two, we have already calculated it. So for theoretical capacity, our fixed manufacturing overhead costs allocated is going to be 17212000 And for practical capacity, our fixed manufacturing overhead cost allocated is going to be twenty million six hundred eighteen thousand. And for normal capacity utilization, our fixed manufacturing overhead cost allocated is going to be twenty five million four hundred two thousand. Okay, so now we want to find our cost of goods available for sale. So in order to find that, we're just going to go ahead and add our beginning inventory with our variable manufacturing costs and our fixed manufacturing overhead costs allocated. So for cost of goods available, so our theoretical capacity is going to be 96,122,000. And for our practical capacity, that's going to give us 99528000 And for normal capacity utilization, that's going to give us 104312000 Okay, so now we want to find our ending inventory, and we're going to go ahead and deduct that from our cost of goods available for sale. So in order to find our ending inventory, we're going to go ahead and do our ending inventory, and we're going to multiply that by our budgeted total manufacturing cost rate. So our ending inventory is 220000 and we're going to multiply that by our budgeted total manufacturing cost weight. So 200, 220000 multiplied by $36.97. That's going to go ahead and give us And we're going to do the same for practical capacity. So our ending inventory, which is 220000 multiplied by our budgeted total manufacturing cost rate, which is going to be $38.28. And that's going to give us $8,421,600. And we're going to do the same for normal capacity. So our ending inventory, which is 220000 multiplied by our budgeted total manufacturing cost rate, which is $40.12. That's going to give us $8,826,400. So now we're going to go ahead and look for our adjustment for variances. So in order to find our adjustment for variances, we're going to go ahead and subtract our fixed manufacturing overhead costs allocated from our actual fixed manufacturing overhead costs. So for a theoretical, our fixed manufacturing overhead costs, which is 
17212000 minus our actual fixed manufacturing overhead cost, which is $27,500,000. That's going to give us $10,288,000. And now we need to know if it's going to be favorable or unfavorable. So it's going to be unfavorable because our actual fixed manufacturing overhead cost is greater than our fixed uh, manufacturing overhead cost allocated. And we're going to do the same for practical capacity. So our fixed manufacturing overhead cost allocated for practical capacity, which is 20,618,000 minus by our actual fixed manufacturing overhead cost, which is 27,500,000. That's going to give us 6,882,000. And it's also going to be unfavorable because our fixed manufacturing overhead cost allocated is lower than our actual fixed manufacturing overhead costs. And now we're going to do normal capacity utilization. So our fixed manufacturing overhead cost allocated for normal capacity utilization is going to be $25,402,000 minus our actual fixed manufacturing overhead cost, which is $27,500,000. And that's going to give us $2,098,000. And that is also going to be unfavorable because our fixed manufacturing overhead cost allocated for normal capacity is lower than our actual fixed manufacturing overhead cost. And now we want to find our cost of goods sold. So in order to find our cost of goods sold, we're going to go ahead and add our cost of goods available for sale with our adjustment for variance, and we're gonna subtract that from our ending inventory. So 96,122,000 minus our ending inventory, which is 8,133,400, and add our adjustment for variance, which is 10,288,000. That's gonna give us 98,276,600. And we're going to do the same for practical capacity. So our cost of goods available for sale, which is $99,528,000 minus our ending inventory, which is $8,421,600 plus our adjustment for variances, that's, which is $6,882,000. And that's going to give us $97,988,400. And we're going to do the same for normal capacity. So our cost of goods available for sale, which is $104,312,000 minus our ending inventory, which is $8,826,400 plus our adjustment for variances, which is $2,098,000. Our cost of goods sold is going to be $97,583,600. Now, in order to find our gross margin, we're going to subtract our revenue from our cost of goods sold. So for a theoretical capacity, our revenue, which is $102,340,000 minus our cost of goods sold, which is $98,276,600. Our gross margin is going to be $4,063,400. So now we want to find um, the cost, the gross margin for practical capacity. So we're going to do revenue minus cost of goods sold. So our revenue, which is going to be $102,340,000 minus our cost of goods sold, which is 
million nine hundred and eighty eight thousand four hundred our gross margin is going to be four million three hundred and fifty one thousand six hundred so we're going to go ahead and do the same thing for normal capacity revenue minus our cost of goods sold and that's going to give us four million seven hundred and fifty six thousand four hundred and our other cost is going to be zero for theoretical practical and normal capacity so since our other cost is zero our operating income is going to be the same as our gross margin for theoretical practical and normal capacity so our operating income for theoretical capacity is four million and sixty three thousand four hundred and our operating income for practical capacity is going to be four million three hundred and fifty one thousand six hundred and our operating income for normal capacity is going to be four million seven hundred and fifty six thousand four hundred and that is how you do the operating income for theoretical practical and normal capacity